You can also add promotional content to your blog post sidebar. And one thing everyone likes to add is the Facebook like box. So I'll show you how to do that. Just go to Facebook page plugin in Google because they changed the name of it a while ago. And then click the first link for a page plugin. And then you just need to create a free Facebook page and put in the link to your page here, like facebook.com slash your page. You can change the width and choose what shows, like the timeline, the height, the header, and the cover photo, and all that. And then once you're good on what it's going to show, you can just click Get Code. And all you need to do is copy this step three code right here. And we're going to put that in Appearance Widgets. So you come back to WordPress, and you hover around the Dashboard button, and you click Widgets. And now if you want to get rid of a section, like maybe we don't have a ton of archives yet, you can just open it and delete it. And to add the Facebook like box, all you have to do is click on the text widget and now add it into the default sidebar, add widget, it'll open up, go to the text tab, dismiss, and now we're going to paste in that code that Facebook generated for us. And we can give it a title, add us on Facebook, and save it. Now let's see what we made. We can go to our site and we need to go to the blog because that page has the sidebar. And so Facebook's not showing up because there's one more step we need to paste in this code from Facebook that they made for us also in our blog. So to do that, come back to your site, go to the dashboard, and we need to install a plugin that just holds third-party code from Facebook, Google, etc. So go to Plugins, Add New, and we're going to install a plugin called Insert Headers and Footers. So do a search for Insert Headers and Footers, and just install this one by WP Beginner, and activate it. So a big thanks to WP Beginner, they're a great blog and a tremendously good plugin developer. And now once you install that in settings, you can click insert headers and footers. And this is where you insert code from Google Analytics, for example, maybe AdSense wants you to put in code. And in this case, Facebook wants us to put this code in the header box and save. So that probably took me like several hours to figure out at first, but now you know where that code can go. And now you get a Facebook page plugin. So that's pretty cool, it should show up now. And people can like and comment and all that stuff in line with your blog.